Hey guys, Barbara here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be making some type of chicken pasta, right? We're going to name it at the end. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Say hello to my mother. Hi everybody. She's not shy, okay? <laughs> Joy and I are working hard for you these days. Say hello to my guest, Mario Ramirez from... Box 11. <laughs> Off sales. Today I've got Jory because Joe's sick. And yeah, Jory's sick. That's good. And we're honorable Attack! Where shall we start? Because it all looks so good. Let's start with this bread. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. With my sister. <laughs> First thing you want to do is bring a big pot of water to boil. Now after it starts boiling, just go ahead and hit it with some salt. And then you're going to go ahead and add your pasta. I have a little bit of fettuccine left here, so this is what I'm going to use today, all right? So let me just go ahead and ease it down on into the pot. Now look at the slow descent. Yes, I did that for you guys. I wanted to do this um, effect with slow-mo, all right? Now the next thing I want to do is take care of the chicken. It's boneless, skinless chicken breast. And of course, because I'm Belizean, I'm going to wash it with vinegar or lime or lemon. So now I'm just going to go ahead and rough chop some spinach that I've washed like four times because I didn't get it from Costco. Every time I get it from the other stores, you, you kind of have to wash. It's really muddy and stuff like that. Now the pasta is ready, so I'm just going to go ahead and rinse. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and wash the chicken. Now let me take this over to the counter. And what I'm going to do is use some clean kitchen shears to just go ahead and cut this chicken breast up into bite-sized pieces. Now the reason for doing bite-sized pieces is twofold. One, it's going to make it easier to serve, you know, getting on the fork and stuff like that. And two, you want the chicken to be able to cook through very quickly. All right? So that's why you cut it up small pieces like this. Now let me go ahead and get this last little batch right here and then hit it with some salt some black pepper this is going to be very simple and i'm going to use ricotta all right because i'm belizean i don't want my chicken to look white i like my chicken to be brown you don't have to put this at all or you could put paprika if you don't have ricotta to use all right so now let me go ahead and get this all rubbed in and then now it's over to the stove look at my beautiful pan hey you, you like my dress Joe made my dress. Well, actually, it's a top and a skirt, but Joe made this for me. I designed it, cut it, assembled it, and we followed the young lady, Comic Cat Creations. Hey, shout out to Monica. So now let me go ahead and put my chicken in when the uh, olive oil gets hot. And then, oh, by the way, it's only like a couple tablespoons of olive oil, right? It's not a whole lot. And give this a stir. We want the chicken to become brown all the way through, all the pieces. Now we're going to put milk. Uh, Parmesan cheese, cheddar, Monterey Jack, the spinach, some diced up onions, the pasta of course, and look, hey, I found some peppers, red, orange, and yellow because I think this makes everything pretty when you're doing this type of white type dish, all right? I mean white in color. So now let me go ahead and add my diced up onions. The reason I didn't saute the onions before I put the chicken in is because they're going to cook when we're cooking the, the dish with the milk. I just wanted to get a little bit uh, brown in color. So let me go ahead and add my peppers, red, um, yellow, and orange. I don't like green bell peppers. I just like these colored ones because they don't give me uh, indigestion. So don't forget to add your spinach, all right? And you could put more spinach if you want, you know, if you're a great spinach lover. Of course, you could put maybe mushrooms in this dish too, but I didn't have any of that, so I'm just kind of using what I have. Let's go get into this pan and use spinach. Just give this a stir. Because now what we're going to do is add the milk. Now when it comes to the milk, it's two cups. You can do two cups of regular uh, whole milk like I did. You can do um, heavy cream for one cup and regular milk for one cup. You can do coconut milk. Just about any milk that you like, you can go ahead and But just put two cups because we don't want this to you know, cook for too long. So we're just going to allow this to cook for about a half hour. It'll give the chicken time to cook and it'll give all the liquid time to reduce. All right. So at that point, now you want to go ahead and add your cheese, the cheddar, and the Monterey Jack, and of course the Parmesan. I always have to steal the Parmesan from the kids because I never buy that for myself for the cooking show. So just let me go ahead and get this worked in. And if this is not reduced enough towards the end, and if you have a little bit of liquid like this left, you want to go ahead and just let it reduce more, but watch it. You want to be very careful when you're um, letting it reduce after you put the cheese in because you don't want it to burn, all right? So this is what Jada taught me about the noodles. You want to use tongs 
loosen it up, pick it up, twist it like this. Let me get a different spoon. I'm not going to put all of it because I made some thin spaghetti and I want to make a plate like that too because I don't really like fettuccine. So you get some of this broth and of course you can garnish it with some more parmesan if you want all right you like my pictures let me go ahead and taste I'm gonna taste the one with the thin spaghetti because I don't really like the fatness I don't like the fatness of regular spaghetti I don't like the fatness of fettuccine I mean what's wrong with me noodles are good right let me get a chicken first one piece of chicken Mm. Highly seasoned, cooked through. I think Joe would eat this because it's not soggy. Joe cannot stand a soggy noodle, and I don't blame him. So, mm. you want to know what I like about thin spaghetti? It reminds me of noodles, you know, like you would get in Chinese food. Because I don't eat Chinese food because of all the MSG and stuff, and I miss it. So I think it has that thickness, that consistency in my mouth. Mm. This is so good. This can make a really quick lunch because everything took about 40 minutes to get done. And look, we got a lot. Well, because I did more noodles. We got that. So imagine if you had more of the fettuccine and that's what you wanted to do. Just put double the amount and put all the chicken on it and then you have a big bowl like this, all right? I hope you guys make this dish and if you do, would you please come back and tell me what all you put in it. If you tried a different pasta, different cheese, different vegetables, maybe even different meat and maybe even different spices to make it your own because we're always looking for different recipes to do here at the show and also for my family to eat. Now if you like this video that I've produced, would you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you can know when I upload another video. And I want to give a special shout out to my sponsors. Thank you for always being so willing to donate to keep the show going. I pray a thousand full return on your investment into my life. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Bear Pantry Talk, for reviews and family vlogs. Also, follow us on social media. All links are in the description below.